Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for January 27th, 2017. For your Friday, we're going to have any morning sun mix of sun and clouds are going to fade behind increasing cloudiness today. So any sun you'll see will be very early on. And then we have uh, mostly cloudy conditions expected for at least the interior portions. I do think you hold on to the sun a little bit longer further south and east in these areas here. For the northwest, you will go to mostly cloudy skies. We'll have an opportunity for a passing flurry or snow shower, especially in the interior here. Um, back in these areas right here are most prone to that. But I wouldn't see that, think this is going to be a big deal. Just the northwest flow off the lakes will give you... Uh, the opportunity for a few snow showers to make it across the mountains, and you might have a few flurries further downwind. So not a big deal today, but uh, definitely replacing the green on the map that was on there yesterday, with which indicates rain, with the blue, which is snow. So even though it's going to be uh, above freezing in most of these areas here, you can still have snow fly because the upper uh, levels of the atmosphere are a lot colder than the surface. Uh, so we are going to get into a colder regime over the next couple of days. Today will actually be the warmest day of the next six and we're going to have the opportunity a couple times for a few snow showers. Not as windy today as it has been, uh, as it was yesterday afternoon and evening. Uh, winds are going to be dying down. It'll still be a little bit breezy in time, just not as breezy. And then we get into Saturday. Pretty much the same deal here with uh, maybe a far interior flurry or snow shower. Uh, otherwise, we're just looking at partly and mostly cloudy skies for the interior. And then for further south and east, you're partly cloudy. So that's pretty much going to be the theme for the next couple of days. Uh, once we get into Sunday, uh, it's going to be hard to see this here because it's... Uh, uh, still expecting partly cloudy skies here on Sunday, but as we get later in the day, again, you could have a little clipper system trying to develop and move across the region here. It's very uh, unorganized, and uh, some spotty snow showers could occur during the night on Sunday night and into Monday morning. And you can see that here, a little uh, once the, the clipper, which is a very fast-moving clipper, is going to move down in this direction like this it's not going to have a lot of energy with it once it hits the shoreline right here it's going to try to develop something last minute but i think it's going to be too far uh and too late for our area here we will have to watch for this far southeastern areas here that will be closest to that level which would benefit from anything that would be accumulation worthy and uh, there's not a certainty on that either it just looks like snow showers for the most part a few snow showers might have some coatings to an inch uh, out of this in some spots and uh, this uh, fast-moving clipper will move out of here uh, on Monday afternoon. So we're just looking at late, uh, probably after midnight Sunday night into uh, Monday morning, just for the opportunity for some snow showers across our region. And then that's pretty much it. This thing pulls away. And then we get into Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday is another day. We'll have to, Tuesday and Wednesday time for all the watch as well. Another little uh, clipper coming through here. This is going to have a cold front with it. On Tuesday, though, you're going to have a. It's going to be your one day. The winds are coming in from the southwest. You're going to warm up a little bit, not much, but still, you still probably be in the 30s in most areas here, but probably upper 30s in many locations uh, here on Tuesday uh, with those southwesterly winds. The cold front's going to come through though, and we're going to have to watch for uh, a piece of energy with this front. Now, the GFS and European model, Canadian model, they're all showing this, but in a different way. Here's your air low pressure up to the north. Uh, frontal battery back here and it's got a little bit of energy around right here not much but a little bit that's going to try to rotate through the gfs does not do much with it the canadian and the european model do uh, and again it could be another situation with uh, you know a coating to an inch or two of snow in some areas as this rotates through again the gfs is not really thrilled with this it's just showing a few snow showers with this and that's going to be uh, during the day here on uh, actually tuesday night into wednesday with the next time frame so this is what we were looking at if you look followed our long range we were talking about the first week of uh february or end of january first week of february uh looking like it's going to be colder but also relatively dry and the most you can expect out of this is going to be these little fast moving uh clipper systems that uh, can give you a quick uh, you know, coating to a half inch to an inch to maybe two in some spots, and that's about it. Uh, one on top of the other. So we'll be very fast moving clipper systems, and that's all you can really expect in the first week. Once we get beyond that, we're going to be looking down towards down the line here for another system here coming in. This is right around uh, the time of the Super Bowl, or maybe just after that, with an area of overrunning uh, precipitation. A lot of uncertainty with this here. Could have a this is running at max range here. We could have a snow event in the interior at the very least with this, or maybe one of those situations where you have uh, snow to snark going over to ice, or maybe a combination of ice and rain further south. We'll see, we'll see a lot of uh, different details with this, but it's going to be predicated on how long this big, strong high that's sitting here stays in place. You have a high over the top, so it's a pretty good setup for some overrunning snow 
uh, you know, and when the uh, warm front pushes up against that running into the cold air, you have a, uh, you know, some heavier snow that can break out across the region. This is going out a ways here. This is just something to keep in the back of your minds for now. Uh, it's a storm signal. But the models are starting to indicate that at least to some point. So we're going to keep monitoring over the next several days. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martich. That is your outlook for January 27th, 2017. Have a great Friday.